Hi, I'm Daryl Smith, and this is DeSmith's Gourmet Home Cooking Photo Album, featuring some of my favorite home recipes. Today's dish is a nice twist to an Italian classic, asabuco. Instead of using veal, I'm using turkey thighs. Also, this is served with risotto, grilled asparagus, and garlic French bread. Turkey is an affordable alternative to veal, but still hits the flavor mark for this dish. I'm using two turkey thighs, about one pound each. Carefully cut each thigh in half through the bone. Lightly dust with flour. In a large pot, coat the bottom with olive oil over medium heat and add the thighs skin side down and sear both sides to achieve a crispy golden skin about four to five minutes on each side. Remove the thighs and set aside. The ingredients for the braising liquid are one small onion diced, one diced carrot, two stalks of diced celery, two tablespoons of tomato puree, one 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes, one cup of white wine, normally red wine is used with veal, and one cup of chicken stock, normally beef stock is used with veal, one sprig of rosemary, a couple of bay leaves, and one tablespoon of minced garlic and salt and pepper to taste. Add the root vegetables to the pot that seared the turkey over medium heat and saute for five to six minutes, seasoning with salt and pepper. Add the tomato puree and stir into the vegetables. Also add the minced garlic, bay leaves, and rosemary. I strip the leaves from the sprig and saute for a couple of minutes. Then add the canned diced tomatoes and its juices and the cup of white wine. Raise the heat and bring to a boil and cook the alcohol from the wine, about two to three minutes. Add the turkey thighs back into the braising liquid and a cup of the chicken stock. Bring to a simmer and cover with a lid and simmer for one hour. After an hour, remove the lid and continue to simmer for another 20 minutes to reduce the liquids and concentrate the sauce. As side dishes, I'm making grilled asparagus and risotto using short grain arboreal rice. Risotto cooks a little differently than long grain rice. I start by sweating some chopped shallots and olive oil over medium heat. Then I add about one cup of the arboreal rice. Toast the rice and stir to coat the grains with the oil. Then add about one cup of white wine and stir to infuse the flavor and burn off the alcohol. While the risotto is starting to absorb the wine, I add the asparagus which has been trimmed of the woody ends and drizzled with olive oil and some sliced French bread also drizzled with olive oil to a high heat grill or grill pan. It only takes about six to seven minutes to grill the asparagus and toast the bread. The technique for making risotto is to reduce the liquid in the pan, then add about a half a cup of chicken stock at a time so that the grains of the rice will slowly absorb the stock. You will have to constantly stir the rice, so don't walk away from this process. It will take about two and a half cups of stock over 20 minutes to finish the risotto. For the garlic French bread, I take a clove of fresh garlic and rub the toast to infuse the garlic flavor. The sauce for the asabuco should start to thicken. Reduce the heat to low to keep warm. When the risotto gets to al dente or has a slight bite to it, add one half cup grated Parmesan cheese and two tablespoons unsalted butter and stir, reducing the heat to low. Add some chopped parsley and stir to complete the risotto. Plate the dish by adding the risotto to the center of the plate. Top with one of the asabucos and be sure to add some of the concentrated braising liquid as a sauce. Add the grilled asparagus and some of the garlic French bread for sopping the sauce on the plate. Enjoy!